Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. We're in the book of Hebrews today in the New Testament. Hebrews is a wonderful book because, or letter I should say, because it outlines lots of church doctrine, those things that the early church came to believe, that they'd received from Jesus, they'd received from the Apostle Paul and others, and they formed the Christian faith. What I like about Hebrews is that it outlines certain things that we, we must can believe about Jesus, and there are lots of therefores and so thens going on in there. Therefores and so thens are so important in the Bible because they give us a direction. They say, I'm telling you all this so that you may do something and live something different and better. I'm telling you all this doctrine, therefore, this is how you can live. So then, this is what we must do. And in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, we have another one of those. Um, let us then, which is the same as a therefore, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Well, what has he said beforehand that leads him to say, let us then? Well, he's been extolling the virtues of Christ crucified and what it means for all of us. He's been outlining who God our Father is, who Jesus is, and why he is so important to us. That's big stuff. Have a look at Hebrews and read through it and see what it teaches you. And he's saying, so then because of all that, because of who Jesus is and what he's done for us, how he has interceded on our behalf before God, and that takes a bit of explaining. But because he's done all of that, we too can approach the throne of grace. We can approach God and ask for his help. And his help will be given to us in times of need. That should be very comforting to us. We don't quite always know how that's going to help or how the help is going to come or where it's going to come from. We quite often find we pray for something and nothing happens. Nothing spiritual or wonderful happens. We have a conversation with somebody we met along the way, and that helped a bit. But God didn't do anything. Oh, we, we did find that when we talked to so-and-so, that was helpful because we were able to assist them in something. Actually, it's those things that God is speaking to us through. It's not some booming voice from heaven. It's those ordinary, everyday matters where we meet with the grace of God and where we can give the grace of God to others. That's what Hebrews will do for us. It will outline our relationship uh, with God our, and who God is, the great doctrine of the faith. Oh, my screen went a bit funny then. Did I get all stilted? And Well, maybe it's me boring the phone to death. Um, that's what Hebrews is all about. That's what we can do, must do. We must turn to God in all sorts of times and when we approach him, we can approach with confidence and receive mercy and grace from him. Good sermon, short sermon, make the most of it. See you soon.